Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 19th of December. Over 140 MPs suspended in three days. Opposition calls move as mockery of democracy. Pakistan's jailed ex-PM Imran Khan uses AI crafted speech to call for votes. And Bangladesh train ablaze kills four as opposition calls strike. And now for all the details, a day after 33 MPs from the opposition were suspended from the low house of the Indian parliament, 49 more MPs including Sashi Tharoor, Farooq Abdullah, Supriya Sule and many more were suspended on Tuesday for the remainder of the winter session. With the latest move, the total number of opposition lawmakers suspended from both houses has gone up to 141. The action came after the House faced adjournments with opposition members raising slogans and displaying placards demanding a statement from Home Minister Amit Shah over the Parliament's security breach incident on December 13. PM Modi, taking a jibe at the opposition during the BJP Parliamentary Party meeting, said that some people are utilising their strength to remove the government and we are utilising our strength for the betterment of India. The opposition has termed the move as a mockery of democracy. दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण एक डेमोक्रेसी सेटअप के लिए जो वातावरण अब हम देख रहे हैं जहां हम अपनी बात नहीं रख पा रहे हैं संसद में तो मैं समझती हूं कि यह टोटल फेलियर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट है अगर गवर्नमेंट ने इतने सारे एमपीस को सस्पेंड किया है इट इज अल्टीमेटली द फेलियर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट क्लियर दे वांट अ एन ऑपोजिशन मुक्त लोकसभा एंड प्रेजेंटली दे विल डू समथिंग सिमिलर इन द राज्यसभा Meanwhile, the opposition India Alliance also held a meeting after almost three months in capital New Delhi, which saw the participation of Nitish Kumar and Mamta Banerjee. The key meeting was held to adopt resolutions to contest the upcoming Lok Sabha election unitedly. The major challenge for the bloc is to reach an agreement on a convener, a spokesperson and a common secretariat, which is a difficult issue due to differences amongst its constituents. Pakistan's jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan, whose party isn't allowed to hold public rallies, used an audio clip generated by artificial intelligence to address a virtual rally this past weekend. The audio clip, marred by internet disruptions, was played over the AI-generated image, which appears to be speaking during an internet rally, the first event of the kind in the country. Urging supporters to turn out in large numbers at general elections set for Feb 8, Khan, in the clip generated from a written version he had approved from prison, said if people come out to vote, PTI cannot be defeated. Jailed since he was convicted and sentenced to three years on craft charges on August 5, Khan is embroiled in dozens of court cases, with some trials held in prison behind closed doors. His party PTI is under crackdown by government due to May 9 assault on military sites by supporters protesting Khan's arrest. And amid tensions between Kabul and Islamabad, Afghanistan's de facto authority Taliban has invited Pakistan's radical Islamist political party Jamaat Ulami Islam chief Maulana Fazarul Rahman to act as mediator. It is a wrong belief that Afghanistan is against Pakistan. We can easily answer this propaganda and Mulana can convey our message to Pakistan. Taliban spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid was quoted as saying by Tolo News. Ties between Islamabad and Kabul have plunged in recent months for their lowest in years, with Pakistan claiming Afghanistan provides safe havens to militants who train and carry out attacks in its territories. Kabul denies the chart, saying that Pakistani security is a domestic issue. Moving on, thousands of locals and activists from Balochistan have joined a long march towards Islamabad, raising voice against what they term as Baloch genocide by Pakistani forces. A report. Thousands of people from Balochistan have been taking part in an ongoing long march towards Islamabad against the Baloch genocide by Pakistani forces. The protesters, under the banner of Baloch Yak Jahati Committee, aim to highlight the unrest in Balochistan demanding an end to enforced disappearances, release of all Baloch missing persons and an inquiry into fake encounters in the region. 
They allege a total ban is imposed on the local media in Pakistan to cover the protest. Activists have long claimed Baloch people have been targets of so-called military operations, ethnic stereotyping and abductions by the Pakistani state, while it continues to exploit their natural resources. They blame Pakistan repeatedly carries out such atrocities to instill fear and exert control over the Baloch people, who have been demanding independence for its occupation. And at least four people were killed in Bangladesh as protesters set a train ablaze amid a countrywide strike called by the opposition to press its demand for the government to resign ahead of the general election. It is the latest strike sparked by anti-government protest in which dozens of buses and vehicles have been set on fire with at least six people killed since October when an opposition rally turned violent. With its top leaders either jailed or in exile, the opposition BNP party wants Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to step down and make way for a neutral government to oversee polls scheduled next year that it has boycotted. Hasina, who is seeking her fourth consecutive term of five years, has repeatedly debuffed the opposition calls to resign, blaming the BNP for the recent deadly street protest in support of their demand. Attempting a world record for a portrait made of frames, artist in Nepal's Janakpur this past weekend made a portrait of Lord Ram and his wife Sita, covering an area of 11,000 square feet. Commemorating the marriage ceremony of Lord Ram, marked as Viva Panchami, a total of 10 artists, 2 from Nepal and 8 from India, made the portrait. At least 11 varieties of frames weighing about 101 quintals were used. The portrait had a length of 120 feet and a width of 91.5 feet. As per the artist, no artificial colours were used. The marriage ceremony festival is celebrated with great fervour at the famous Janki temple in Nepal, which is attended by thousands of devotees. और अनाज से श्री रामचंद्र जी जानकी माता विश्वामित्र जी और जनक जी का एक पोर्ट्रेट तैयार किया है जो कि पूरा अनाज से है 101 क्विंटल अनाज से अनाज का यूज हुआ है और ये 11,011 स्क्वायर फीट में है जो कि एक वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड है और दूसरी बात कि यहां पर जो हम लोग आए हैं वो विवाह पंचमी के अवसर पर है क्योंकि विवाह पंचमी एक बहुत बड़ा उत्सव माना जाता है और जनकपुर धाम जो कि सीताजी की नगरी है यहीं पर विवाह हुआ था श्री रामचंद्र जी और जानकी माता का तो इसी उपलक्ष्य में ये पोर्ट्रेट तैयार किया गया है Moving on, members of the Kashmiri Pandit community in India's Jammu on Monday showcased their culture through theatre, dance and folk music ahead of the International Ferran Day. Take a look. The members of the Kashmiri Pandit community in India's Jammu on Monday celebrated their culture in a unique manner with various programmes ahead of the International Ferran Day. The event held at the Abhinav Theatre aimed to remind the young generation about their culture attire, folklore and traditional music. The highlight of the event was a short play that depicted Kashmir 34 years ago and the Kashmir now. This is a very good initiative. This is आगे भी ऐसे जो कार्यक्रम है अपने कल्चर को प्रमोट करने के लिए अपनी ट्रेडिशन को अपने ट्रेडिशनल ड्रेस को प्रमोट करने के लिए हमने आज जो स्टेप उठाया है वो मेद ने जो ये स्टेप उठाया है बहुत बड़ी बात है आगे भी ऐसा होना चाहिए अ फर्स्ट एवर पेरेंट ड्राम शो स्टोल द शो एट द इवेंट विद सो यंग बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स शोकेसिंग डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स ऑफ पेरेंट द लूज फिटेड गाउन्स वर्न इन द कश्मीर वैली अमिड द विंटर सीजन लेकिन इंटरनेशनल फेरन डे जो है ये हम इसलिए ऑर्गेनाइज किया क्योंकि आज हमने अपने कल्चर को लेके कश्मीरी पंडित ट्रेडिशन जो है जैसे आपने देखा मैंने फेरन पहना है जो लेकिन एग्जैक्टली exactly हमारे यहाँ पे बच्चों ने बुजुर्गों ने स्टेज पे डिस्प्ले किया अपना एक ट्रेडिशनल रैप वॉक किया जिसमें वो फेरन को दिखाया गया तर्क फेरन को दिखाया गया हमारे कल्चर वीक वसन को दिखाया गया कि कैसे हमारे वो सब ट्रेडिशन होते हैं मेन पर्पज़ हमारा ये था आज करने का और साथ साथ में आज के दिन ही रंजना रैना जी की एक बुक है जो कश्मीर पे है वो हमने रिलीज की है That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.